What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Happy holidays, if it's past New Year's, happy New Year's. Okay, so let's dive into this video. Today's question from the Braddox 795. I always wondered me about how a transition from judo to MMA would be. Everyone talks about wrestling and BJJ for every MMA fighter. Hey, thanks for the question, uh, buddy. There's a lot of judokas who transitioned to MMA who've done already very well. A very prominent example is uh, Ronda Rousey. What weight division, I forgot, but she was super, super dominant and she essentially single-handedly brought MMA, uh, women's MMA to the forefront by you know, being so spectacular in the way she just uh, armbarred everybody, essentially. She's also an Olympian. Um, she won, I think, the bronze medal at uh, the, one of the Olympics, and she came into MMA, and she had such a, an amazing uh, skill set, work ethic, core strength, her ability to grapple, like her grappling is like top notch, and her specialty was uh, Jujigatame, which is the armbar, and she essentially just armbarred herself to, to a championship. And then eventually she got exposed because exposed in the sense that her, her striking wasn't up to par and then people understood what to do to avoid the clinch with her, to, be, to avoid get, being taken down because every time somebody got taken down, they got armbarred essentially. And of course, after that, they, they, they were able to keep their distance. Holly Holmes uh, and their, ended uh, knocking her out with a head kick. Then she did a came back, but she went against Nunez. And once again, her striking wasn't up to par. Anyways, I'm digressing a little bit, but all that to say that she did very well. 2009 is when I started watching MMA. So there was this gentleman called Cairo Parisian. He was a judoka and he used a lot of his judo moves very effectively against uh, other MMA fighters. And then there was also Hector Lombard did very well too. He was a judoka, uh, high level Cuban judoka. And then from there, like he's transitioned over to MMA and he did very well also. Kayla Harrison, she's going to be one to watch. She's a two time uh, Olympic champion. All right. So that means gold medal in the Olympics twice. That's very hard to do, very hard to do. And she did that, so she's amazing. And she transitioned to MMA. She's not in the UFC yet, but I think it's just a matter of time. She's building her, uh, her career, you know, getting her wins, uh, getting her fights in. And yeah, once she hits the UFC, I believe she's gonna be champion also. And yeah, she's been like wrecking people too. Why I believe that judokas transition very well over to MMA is one, high level judoka decides to go over to MMA. They're already good at grappling. They're very good at grappling. They're very, their balance is amazing. Balance and timing, like they just have it. And then from there, well, they have to learn wrestling and jujitsu. Now you guys have to remember that <clears throat> BJJ comes from jujitsu. So for a judo high level judoka to pick up jujitsu, it doesn't take them a lot of time. And of course, wrestling, it, doesn't, it won't take them a lot of time either because I made another video regarding how judokas transition very well to wrestling because of all the dexterity they have, the, uh, all the techniques, all the timing, the footwork and everything. They're just, you know, ha they just have so much more tools uh, uh, compared to a wrestler. And once they get used to not having the gi and then adjusting their grips, they do fine. So a judo high level judoka, right, that wants to go into MMA has to learn BJJ, has to learn wrestling. So they pick those two things up like this. So once they pick that up, bam, all of a sudden, they're like amazing, amazing, amazing grapplers. Uh, also, like if they're a high level judoka, well, they already have the work ethic and uh, they already have that competitive uh, nature to them and they're already used to competition. So there's no nerves coming in. I mean, they're pretty, uh, well, there's always a little bit of nerves, I imagine. Now from there, it's the striking. That's where they, they have trouble with for the most part. And of course, some of them pick up the hands relatively quick because, you know, hands is, you know, it doesn't require years of training to understand how to throw your punches and to bring them up, especially if you're already high level judoka, high level athlete, like uh, throwing a jab like this and then bringing it back, you know, it's, 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 not, it's no big deal. But the in the kicking department though, that's a little bit harder. Uh, you have to have the flexibility, the mobility, it takes a little bit more time, you know, to develop, whereas hands much faster but judokas do very, very well when they transition to MMA. I believe and I hope to see more uh, judo guys, uh, judokas. Actually, there's another guy, uh, Olivier Mercier-Aubin. He's actually a, from Montreal, he's in the UFC. He did very well too. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a very good grappler, did, very, did well in uh, MMA, UFC. It's very hard to have the trifecta in an athlete, meaning somebody who actually has the work ethic, uh, the brains, and also some kind of advantage, you know, some kind of special skill set, like a talent. 
So tal talented, smart, and hardworking. Okay, my fingers aren't in a good direction there, but when it comes to judo, well, in judo, like they already have that uh, uh, work ethic, not a problem. Uh, they already have uh, talent, you know, skill, right? A specific skill set, talent that kind of puts them above the rest. And after that, it's about having the brains. And sometimes having the brains is not just you being smart, but it's really about the team and the coaches around you. So they can actually set you up for success, right? To plan and to strategize uh, properly uh, against your opponents. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So <clears throat> see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.